This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and the Malin Manson case continues. This is called Malin Manson Sued by Jane Doe for Alleged All-Word Sexual Battery in Los Angeles. And I will say this, the fact that this woman is not naming herself makes her more credible, but I will also say until I made a definitive decision I will need to see some kind of evidence aside from stories about his past. But let's see what's going on here. And by the way, I say more credible because one of my theories is that they can use his fame and the case's fame that's going on now to boost themselves. And if you don't name yourself, obviously you're not trying to gain fame in that way off of it. The woman identified as Jane Doe sued the musician fried in Los Angeles Superior Court for a sexual assault, sexual battery, and intentional infliction of emotional distress, a complaint obtained by Fox News confirms. The woman claims to have been exploited and victimized by the rocker, whose real name is Brian Warner, during and after their relationship in 2011. Defendant Lord Plaintiff, a musician, into what was, at first, a consensual romantic relationship. A short time later, however, he R-word Miss Doe. He also subjected Miss Doe to further degrading acts of sexual exploitation, manipulation, and psychological abuse, the complaint alleges. The woman claims in the suit to have met Warner in February 2011 at a pre-Grammys party. Days later, she said he began communicating with her through text, phone calls, and emails. When requesting her presence at his property a short time later, Doe claims the rocker informed her that his assistant Ashley Walters would be present to act as a chaperone. Warner told Plaintiff about his relationship with Evan Rachel Wood and that he wanted to kill her. He told Plaintiff about a time he had tied Miss Wood to a chair and pointed a gun at her. He said, considering killing Miss Wood, but then decided to be merciful. Warner recounted a story about the previous Christmas day when he had called Miss Wood 158 times and cut himself every time. She did not answer the phone, the filing alleges. The plaintiff also detailed an alleged disturbing video Warner made her watch that he claimed was filmed in 1996. The video showed him performing oral sex on his bandmate Twiggy Ramirez using a condom, the plaintiff alleges, and later showed a young fan tied to a chair as Manson allegedly removed her shirt and forced her to drink a glass of one of the band members' urine before pistol whipping her that all sounds really crazy and i'm not debating that you know maybe he did some crazy shit back then back in the 90s and you know what how do i know these people weren't just as crazy as him at that time weren't just as sick as him at that time i mean i'll tell you this in 1996 i was a pretty different person i think i was just graduating high school at that point i was still on my bad guy streak, doing bad shit, staying out all night, you know, won't even mention what I did, you know, I went to some clubs, some goth clubs, some, you know, whatever it was, man, and right now, this this day, I am a completely, completely different person, so what I'm saying is, and what some people are saying are, is these women are looking back on their younger, crazy self, when they were hanging out with these people, doing that kind of shit, and now they're like, well, you know, I'm going to say it was abuse, I'm going to say that, you know, he forced me to do it, and they probably do have some emotional memories, they could, you know, drum up some tears, and they could even make it sound like really, really genuine, but, you know, they're kind of twisting these memories into something they aren't actually in reality. That's my theory, take it with a grain of salt, but like I said, judging for myself... I could tell you, and I'm sure some of you guys listening feel the same, you were a very different person back in your teenage years. So also, they want a jury trial, and they want, of course, money for pain and suffering and mental anguish and emotional distress and humiliation. Now, yeah, man, the thing is this, like, it was 10 years ago, and I guess it's hard to talk about. I hear that. But I mean, like, if you've already gone through all this pain and humiliation and stress and everything, you know, 
I don't know, it's just hard for me to be like, all right, you know, 10 years ago I went through that and I want a couple of hundred thousand now to make up for it. It just seems like the timing needs to be a little bit more fresh. The timing needs to be, you know, after it happened. So here they say the plaintiff is demanding a jury trial and compensation for pain, suffering, mental anguish, emotional distress, humiliation, and inconvenience. They also say he needs to be held accountable. Again, you know, it's just, uh, it's just really frustrating that it happened so long ago. If this was like two months ago, even a year ago, I'd be like, yeah, man, you know what? Yeah, wow. So they came out now. Let's see what we got. You know, let's see some evidence. Let's hear some recordings. Let's see some photos. But I mean, I guess you don't forget. 10 years is very clear in your mind. Not like 25, 30 years ago. But having said that, I just find the timing a little bit odd. Like I keep saying, and some other people covering this case who have a slightly different opinion kind of tell me, well, don't defend Marilyn Manson. Look, he definitely did it, this and that, and you could be right. I got to really, really reiterate that I'm open to changing my mind when there's real evidence, not just allegations, or else we could get 20 people together and take a guy who's got like, you know, $100 million dollars. And we could get them to say some similar story and we'll go to court and, you know, we'll match it up and we'll get it right and we'll suck out millions of dollars. And that's not, you know, likely, but it's not literally impossible. Or maybe, you know, these women knew Marilyn Manson and they see people are coming out and they kind of jump on that bandwagon. They're like, hmm, looks like he's in trouble. Looks like... You know, possibly if I come out because I dated him back then and did some crazy bonded shit and say he abused me, I could jump in with this crowd and maybe I'll get some money. Maybe we could all get some settlement together or something like that. So I think you really got to look at both sides here. And like I said, a conspiracy, not completely likely, but it's not literally impossible. And if you're going to really, you know, kill someone's career and suck hundreds of thousands or millions out of them, then you got to be sure. you got to be 100% on it, which I'm not. You know, I'll give, these, I'll give these ladies like 20%. You know, I can't say it's nothing. Okay, there's quite a few of them. And this one here isn't telling her name. So that's a step in the right direction. But, you know, to really punish somebody for their life's work and their art and what they've saved up over the years, we got to know. That's what I'm thinking. You guys, of course, let me know what you're thinking. I'm doing pop culture. That first heard covering this case, little Brad Pitt, little Meghan Markle once in a while. If you don't subscribe here and you've considered it, I guess I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.